turn it over to, to the last but not least speaker, Antan. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, so I think that the most important thing we'd like to inquire is that you had an experience, you led the JPS incorporation to BNP Paribas some time ago. Uh, uh, we all heard a lot of information about what it is uh, in terms of, you know, generally worldwide developed emerging countries. Anything specific on the Russia? Uh, yes, uh, I would like to say a few words about the particular case of implementing the GIP standards in Russia. A uh, few words about my experience. Uh, I was responsible for the um, JPS implementation and verification in T TKB BNP Paribas investment par partners for the period starting from April uh, 2010 till uh, the end of 2014. So it's quite a, a large uh, in, uh, period for Russia. Of course, not not for for the US or Europe. Uh, and. Um, uh, how it was done. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I want to say that uh, we uh, were working in a, uh, in a close co co cooperation with um, our uh, international partners. So it was a GIPS uh, team for the whole BNP Paribas IP group. So they uh, had a huge experience in uh, GIPS compliance and they helped us a lot uh, and mostly on uh, our first uh, verification. Um, uh, in terms of uh, how much resources uh, did it take? In terms of human resources, it was uh, two people from our side, from Russian side, and two people from uh, international GIPS team uh, who were uh, working on a part-time basis because they uh, simultaneously hold uh, held uh, some kind of uh, five to ten verifications for uh, another uh, BNP Paribas firms. So they they uh, they they were guiding us, they were helping, but uh, actually it was uh, the main work was uh, with two people from our side. In terms of um, time. Uh, first verification, it took a lot of time because it was a uh, uh, very new activity for us and uh, uh, particularly it was uh, about uh, five months to uh, run through the whole process uh, starting from uh, uh, GIPS compliance till the end of the uh, GIPS verification. Um, Uh, it, 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 was, uh, it was actually huge because uh, TKB BNP Paribas uh, hold uh, a lot of international uh, funds which are very large. It, was, it acts, uh, acted as a consultant and acts uh, now as a consultant for these funds. So it was a uh, huge international assets and uh, much smaller uh, Russian local assets. Um, but uh, for international assets, we already have had the experience from our colleagues from Brussels, so uh, they had a lot of information on this and they helped a lot. So mainly it was the work uh, concerning a local Russian uh, composites. Um, so um, uh, in, in terms of uh, initial data, uh, all, all the initial data uh, which uh, was used to calculate uh, composites was, were derived from uh, accounting system, so it's not, it wasn't a very huge problem, but we had to do some work to uh, make sure that uh, all the uh, local accounting standards uh, are in line with GIPS. And finally, we had to ado adopt some things, first of all, uh, it's uh, uh, gross of his uh, performance, uh, so it was uh, it was some kind of new uh, activity to calculate this kind of performance so for all the portfolios. And second, it was an implementation of trade data accounting because uh, uh, I suppose that in Russia, uh, in accounting, it's uh, um, almost always uh, settlement data accounting. So it's, it, it was a problem, but uh, it, uh, it was uh, 
solved finally. Um, so that's uh, the case, and the main uh, work actually in terms of uh, time it was to uh, define film, to define composites, to define strategies. It was a huge work to uh, meet with uh, portfolio managers, with management of the company, uh, to uh, discuss this, to understand the view on the strategy, and to uh, uh, jointly form the composites because uh, it's, it, it uh, seemed to be uh, very um, easy, but but it's not. Actually, it's not. It's it's my opinion because uh, even uh, uh, in one company, if uh, we have uh, different kinds of products, they could be mixed in one composite. So it's. Uh, uh, really, the, uh, the matter of the strategy uh, overall, not not always the matter of different products. And uh, um, finally, uh, as it was uh, already said, uh, very very, uh, very mu um, much time was spent to document all the procedures because it was a huge document. But we uh, had uh, a lot of composites, including. Uh, different composites, including uh, uh, geographical location, um, types of assets, and so on. So it, it was not easy to do uh, first time. All the subsequent, uh, uh, all the subsequent verifications uh, were uh, much less uh, in terms of time and in terms of human resources, because uh, all we need, needed to do is to just monitor um, all the changes. Uh, and uh, uh, in my experience, I uh, I think that it's essential to uh, establish a procedure to monitor uh, all the uh, changes in uh, strategies and in uh, structure of the company on a timely basis and uh, reflect them on a timely basis in the company because it's much easier to do it uh, when it occurs uh, rather than to uh, so, to find out in the end, at the end of the year, that something uh, happens. It's, uh, it, it could be uh, very surprising. Um, so that's, that's it. Okay. Uh, what's your view on the, uh, on the reason and the benefit for the Russian uh, money managers or, uh, you know, uh, parties involved, the clients, to, to use GAPS? Um, so let me just uh, start with uh, TKB BNP Paribas uh, example. Uh, as, I, as, I, as I said, uh, they uh, have huge uh, international funds. So that was the main reason to become chips compliant. But for uh, uh, local mandates, uh, even um, that time, uh, the company saw the demand for, for the uh, unification and for the transparency of uh, investment performance data. So uh, that, that was the reason why all local uh, mandates uh, were included in the GIPS scope. Um, so, uh, to, uh, uh, to my mind, uh, uh, we have a strong demand for, for, the, uh, for such a standards in the industry, but uh, not uh, all participants, uh, not all uh, companies understand that uh, this demand could be uh, um, completed by the GIP standards because uh, unfortunately uh, GIP standards uh, are not so uh, widespread and not so known uh, at the moment uh, in Russia. And that's, that's why we are all here and uh, we are trying to uh, change it and to uh, convince uh, that these standards are, uh, can um, resolve some issues. First of all, it's uh, unification of uh, performance data. And second, it's uh, because it's uh, ethical uh, standards, first of all, it's some kind of uh, trust, as uh, Jan uh, said. So, uh, any manager, uh, any uh, uh, potential client want to be sure, uh, wants to be sure that uh, figures uh, which uh, he uh, get from um, potential money manager are uh, understandable, are uh, 
relevant and uh, that they are uh, trustworthy. So that's the main reason why JIP standards are demanded uh, in, uh, could, uh, should be demanded in uh, Russian uh, money management industry. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll see that happening. Uh, if you have, you have any follow-up on, on anything? Um, if you don't mind, I just want to uh, point out some uh, benefits for particular market participants. For example, if we consider pension funds. Uh, uh, first of all, pension funds are uh, strongly regula regulated by the Russian uh, legislation. So, uh, in terms of becoming GIPS compliant, it's a uh, um, option, uh, it's a reasonable option, but uh, also they are very uh, interested to uh, deal with GIPS compliant money managers, to, to receive GIPS compliant uh, figures when they are chosen from uh, any investment, from uh, the range of investment companies. Uh, in my experience, uh, uh, each uh, pension fund, when it's, it considers a management company to, to give them uh, money, uh, requests a huge amount of uh, information. This information about uh, uh, risks, uh, management, performance, yeah, usually it's, uh, it varies from uh, fund to fund and uh, uh, it uh, may imp imply different met methodologies. So, uh, you know, when you receive, uh, from my point of view, as I uh, worked for uh, uh, investment uh, firm, uh, when you receive such a request, you uh, first, the first thing uh, is, what did they mean? What do they mean? Because uh, it's uh, usually it's not very clear which which uh, particular metho methodologies they want to uh, they want us to uh, use in uh, this particular. Uh, request. So, um, the best way is to come back and to ask everything. But uh, uh, unfortunately, I uh, know cases when um, companies uh, just uh, applied their own metho methodology, and uh, pension fund uh, pension fund uh, may uh, keep in mind another one. So the result is that pension fund uh, is making a uh, decision about the allocation of the uh, assets uh, within the range of the investment companies uh, based on uncomparable, uh, in many cases, not always, but in, in some cases, uncomparable uh, information. It's not uh, uh, the fault of uh, investment funds. They, they, are, they were not intended to uh, mislead or fraud. They are just within the... Uh, um, Boundaries, uh, legislation boundaries. They are, uh, they have uh, the right to move. They uh, have several uh, approaches and several method methodologies, which are fair actually. But they are, uh, they uh, result in different figures. So that's a particular case uh, uh, when uh, which which so shows uh, that uh, unified standards and worldwide uh, known and uh, accepted standards uh, could be of use for a local um, uh, market participant. Well, yeah, that makes sense as well. Thank you very much for your comments on Thank this. You. Uh, if I may, just to summarize uh, about what you know, people sitting on this side of the room are doing and what we, we plan to do, we spoke with the money managers a lot. What we see is that uh, often there is a desire to use GIPS. Uh, not, a, not always there is a, a ability in terms of timing, understanding, expertise. Therefore, uh, you know, CF Institute uh, decided to move ahead with this. And on our side, we are ready uh, to support any money manager in terms of uh, physically coming, uh, looking at what you have, advising you on how to structure it correctly, and, and so forth. And of course, we have uh, excellent partners here who are ready to, to talk to you as well on this issue, as well as to, about the verification. So uh, if there's uh, an interest uh, on your side to, to do it, just you know, let us know and we'll go ahead with this. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I think it's a process. It's a, it's a journey that we've now begun. Um, I would be uh, pleased if you have a client within the next year um, here in Russia. Um, I'm sure that there will be some people who, who grab this and say, you know, it's not only the right thing to do, but it's going to help my business. And uh, we're here to try and help you support the business. Um, it's a bit of an unknown concept even for me. I've never been actually on the asset management side. Um, but I'm intrigued and I think it'll be a good learning uh, journey for many of us. And some of us will make the decision that yes, our firms should be compliant because it's good for business and it's good for the investors. Um, we're very pleased to, to support this and, and we hope that uh, you know, this has been almost a, a one-sided conversation uh, to make this real, um, have more conversations. Talk to Peter, talk to me, uh, talk to Ashland, uh, and try and figure out what it really means to your business. Um, I don't expect anybody's made the decision tonight that, yes, that's what I want to do. Uh, but I hope you've all made the decision uh, that, yes, I want to know more about this and to figure out whether it's something that makes sense for me. Uh, if we've achieved that, then we've had a very successful evening. I'd like to, especially to thank Ian and the others uh, for coming and talking to us and trying to enlighten us a little bit more on, uh, on what's happening. Thank you, and I hope we'll be talking often and frequently over the next few months. Thank you, guys. Then we say that that's it for tonight. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.